In this video, we're gonna build this automation that can track all of your meta ad data. We're gonna build it completely from the ground up, so I'll show you exactly how to do that. The purpose of this is so that you can get your data out of Ads Manager automatically without having to export it yourself. You can put it into Google Sheets for internal tracking. You can use this to send client reports add it to dashboards. I'll show you how to do all that right within this one automation in this video. First thing I'm going to add here is just going to be a schedule trigger and we're going to run this every three hours. I'm also going to add a manual trigger here so that I can run it for testing. And the first node that we're going to want to add here is going to be a Facebook graph API. And we're just going to use this as a get request and then version we're going to go 23. For the node, I'm gonna pull that from my last automation, which is gonna be the JSON for account ID to the account ID and campaign ID so that you can plug it in. Um, that's mostly just for template purposes so that I can send this out. Edge is just gonna be campaigns. And then we're going to wanna to add fields. So we're gonna add ID, name, status, and objective. Again, you guys are not gonna have the node to copy and paste, but you can copy and paste right off me doing it here. And then actually we're not gonna add that as a field, we're gonna add that as a query parameter. Filtering, and we're gonna go here. So then here we're gonna just add a set node. That's gonna go in between. And for the fields, we're just gonna do account ID and campaign ID. And then you're gonna put your campaign ID here. So these are both going to the edit fields. And then that's gonna to go to graph API there. And then now we're gonna split the graph API into three different nodes. And it's gonna be all Facebook graph API nodes. Uh, we're not gonna configure any of this yet, but I'm just gonna rename this to campaign. And then we're gonna duplicate that for ad set and then ads. Um, I'm gonna go in now and put in my account ID and campaign ID. We're gonna pull up business manager to get our account ID and then ads manager to get the campaign ID. So you can just go to add accounts, select the ad account that you wanna go to, copy the ID, put that in the workflow here, or actually it's gonna go in the set node account ID, and then go to ads manager. So when you go to your ad account, you're gonna just click on the campaign, make sure you're on the campaigns, head up to the URL, and then you'll get the campaign ID right here. Selected campaign IDs, and then you can just copy that number there. Toss that in the automation for campaign ID. So now this node is mapping from the account ID and then from the campaign ID from that set node. The reason why I added this instead of just putting my account ID and campaign ID there is so that now you guys can just go here and just replace those and that's all you need to change. Besides configuring your graph API credential, which we're actually gonna do right now. So you should open up developers.facebook.com. This is where we're gonna go in and create an app, which is how N8N is gonna reference your ad account. So go to my apps here. You're gonna create an app. I'm just gonna call this N8N YouTube Tracker. And then for use cases, you're gonna go create and manage ads with marketing API. I'm gonna connect this to my business portfolio, go through here, don't have to do any of that, and then go to dashboard. Probably gonna to have to verify. You're gonna go up to tools and you're gonna to go to Graph API Explorer. We'll see this here and then Meta Ads app we're gonna to go to N8N YouTube Tracker, and you're gonna change this to get user access token. For permissions, you're gonna to wanna to add ads read, ads management, business management, and that should be enough. I think we should be good with just those and then I'm gonna generate an access token here. You're gonna just go through all these permissions and you'll get connected. This should be enough to give this access token to N8N. What you're gonna do, so you wouldn't have an account here, so you're gonna create a new credential and just put the access token there. It'll test, connection tested successfully so you can see we're good there. I'm gonna go grab these from my other workflow just so I don't have to go and, and retype all of them. 
But first, let's just get the account right. And then the API version is going to be 23. And then let's figure out the actual configuration for these nodes. So if I didn't have it on a prior workflow, I would go over to Claude and just ask Claude what to put on the node. Um, but for the purpose of this, I'm just going to grab these from my other nodes. So for the node field, we're going to do set campaign configuration, um, which we actually can't map that directly. But uh, where'd it go? But what we're going to do is actually execute workflow. So this just has to have a different name because instead of actually, I just went in and renamed that to the same thing. That way these look the same and then make sure campaign ID and account ID. Just since I'm grabbing the same fields, I want to make sure the nodes all have the same names. Edge is going to be insights and then we're going to add some fields here. What I'm going to add for fields is going to be campaign ID, campaign name, impressions, click, spend. So this is all the metrics that we're pulling. You can track the same ones. Uh, let me expand this so you can see what we're tracking. But campaign ID, campaign name, impressions, click, spend, cost per click, uh, CPM, CTR, reach, frequency, conversions, conversion values, cost per conversion, and purchase ROAS. I don't need purchase ROAS. But other than that, that looks good. The ad set node is going to be very similar. For this node spot here, it's going to be set campaign configuration. So we're mapping the data from this node and we're grabbing the campaign ID, same thing. For edge, it's just going to be ad sets and then we're going to add fields. And then this is going to be all the fields we want to pull, which is a lot less just for the ad set level. So you would go in, just copy this exactly as it's here. For the ad level, the node is going to be that same metric where we are getting the campaign ID from the set campaign configuration. Then the edge is just gonna be ads. And then for the fields, we're gonna do ID, name, status, ad set ID, campaign ID. So that's gonna pull everything for the ad. So should be good now to save this. And I'm just gonna run it once from manual trigger. Okay, and we can see something's wrong here. We have an unsupported get request. All right, so says object with ID does not exist. What we need to go in and change is actually, this needs to have an ACT underscore. And let me turn this off. Now it should work. Yeah. So what we forgot was just the ACT before the account ID. So that was really the only issue. Other than that, you can see that this all worked. The next thing we have to go in and do is add code nodes to work with all the data. So we're actually gonna add JavaScript and I'm not gonna go through this entire code all of this is going to be in the description. It's a free school community. You can download this template. We're going to run once for each item. And then we're also going to want to format ad set and format ad data. So we're going to go in here, add very similar code node um, for formatting the ad set data. And then now we're going to add a node for formatting the ad data. So now these JavaScript nodes, what they're going to do is take all the data that we're pulling from Facebook and then format it in a way that Google Sheets can read. The next thing we're going to have to do is go to Google Sheets and you're just going to make a new sheet. I already have one made here. You can see campaign ID, campaign name, status, objective, impressions, clicks. I'm not going to read off all of these, but if you want to screenshot this to make your sheet, this is all the data that we pulled. I don't have conversion value or cost per conversion, I believe, or ROAS. Um, but everything else should be mapped. And then for ad set, this is what we're pulling. And then for ads, this is what we're pulling over here. Now you can just add a Google Sheets node for append or update row. And then you are going to have to configure your Google Sheets credential. Then you're going to be able to choose the Google Sheet and you're going to choose a sheet for campaign. Obviously, we're going to choose campaign and then you can go with map automatically. I would match on the campaign ID. And now you should be good. We're gonna add a Google Sheets node here. The only thing we're gonna change is the sheet is gonna change over to ad set. Column to match on is gonna be ad set ID. Then we're gonna add another one for ad level where we change this to ads. Change this to update ad data. Column to match on is gonna be ad ID. So now we have all of this data getting pulled from Facebook, getting formatted, and then getting added to their respective Google Sheets. I'm just going to run this once and see if it works all good. 
All right, so this code actually wasn't working. I forgot to add a loop here. So we need to actually add a loop after the ad sets. So this is gonna be get ad sets. Get ad sets. And this is going to be get ads. So this is just gonna actually get the ads from Facebook. Um, it's not gonna actually do anything with it. What we have to do is add a loop over items node right after that. You don't have to change anything there. Just delete that extra one and delete both of the branches. And then we're actually gonna add a second Facebook graph API node here. We're gonna map some data. For node, you're gonna put that JSON there. For edge, you can put insights. And then we're gonna add some fields. And this is gonna be all of the data that we wanna pull from the ad set. So I'll just expand that so you can see everything. Again, we don't really need purchase ROAS. I'll keep it in there. So the loop branch is gonna go to this get ad set insights. So, so if you notice, we now actually have two Facebook nodes. So the first one is just gonna get the ad sets and then it's gonna go through a loop and then it's gonna get the insights for each individual ad set. So you're gonna connect this sheet at the end is gonna connect right back to the input of the loop over items. This should work now. Let's run a test and just see if it works. Okay, perfect. All right, and then you'll see we have the same error down here. What I'm gonna do is just go through and add the loop and we need to add that second insights again. So first thing we're gonna add is a loop over items. And then you can delete these extra branches and nodes. Move these over a little bit. This loop is gonna connect to a Facebook graph API here. Set this to V23. For the node, we're gonna just take this JSON right here. For edge, we're just gonna do insights. And then we're gonna add the fields that we wanna pull. So they're gonna be very similar to the fields from the ad set. Now, if we just change the name to get ad. Now we should be able to connect that to the code node and then connect the end of the Google Sheet back to the beginning of the loop. And if we format that correctly, we should be good. All right. Okay, so we actually just have to change the name of this to split ads. Now we should be good. Perfect. So you can see that worked and went through. Next thing that we're gonna go in and add now that this is working is take all of this data and use the most recent data to send a Slack report to our client. What I had Claude do is write me JavaScript code that I can go put in here that is going to take all the data and format it for a Slack message. So I'm going to, after this is done, I'm just gonna put everything here. And then that can go there as well. Everything's gonna go to this code node and then we're gonna send a Slack message. You are gonna have to go in and create a credential to your Slack account. Shouldn't be super difficult. I'm gonna send it to a user just for the purposes of this. I'm just gonna send it to myself. You could send this to a client channel, you could send it to a client, really whatever. Actually execute this just so I can get the data through and then I'm just gonna map the output from this code node. Okay, so we're actually gonna have to add a merge before here. So we have to add a merge because the code node has to be have all the data finished. So now we can take this branch, put it to the first input. We can take this branch, put it to the second input. And we can take this done branch and that's gonna go to the third input. Now we can run that to the code node. So what that's gonna do is just make sure that all of these finish before it goes in and does the code. Okay, so now we have this, you can see the output here and you're just gonna take that output and put that in Slack. So this is going to be in blocks. And I think if I just go like that, should be fine. So we are gonna have to go in and change this to JSON text. And let's see if this works. Okay, so now we're good. We do successfully have uh, everything coming through. If I go to the fulfillment bot, you can see what it was before and you can see the new message now. So you have everything here, meta ads update, new traffic campaign, 11.8, follower campaign, spend, conversions, ROAS. So, I mean, I would change the data since this is just a follower traffic campaign, but you can see that it is successfully sending 
the Slack message and everything is going through the automation successfully. Now you at least have all the data coming out of Facebook and it is completely under your control for whatever you wanna do with it. If you want the free drag and drop template for this, all I'm gonna do is download this exact template. I'm gonna drop that in the school community, which is completely free. So grab that with the first link in the description.